Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain, and tonight we're looking at some Hot Pockets. I don't think I've done Hot Pockets before on one of these videos, but uh, you know, most Hot Pockets are the ultimate in drunken munchies. I mean, come on, they're meatballs and mozzarella, they're Philly steak and cheese, the taco Hot Pockets, beef taco. Anyway, so many Hot Pockets are so delicious. But this time around, we've got a limited edition. Not sure how you can have a food that's a limited edition. I mean, I understand. It's only around for a set period of time. But I don't know if limited edition is right to uh, describe that. I think it's maybe hmm, time limited. Yeah, I guess limited edition. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that... The whole limited edition, it, it, it seems to describe a thing that's more permanent that you can only get for a limited time versus a food that you can only get for a limited time that you're just going to poop out and you're not going to keep. I mean, am I going to keep these in my freezer for 20 fucking years? And that's really a limited edition item? No. This is a limited time or limited availability or short period availability. Yeah. It's not really limited edition. Limited edition tends to in, make me think of something more permanent than food. Anyway, uh, that's all semantics. Hot Pockets limited edition chicken pot pie. And come on. How have they not done this before? Most Hot Pockets involve a protein some kind of a sauce, maybe some veggies, and a shell of some type. In this case, hopefully biscuit related for chicken pot pie. How have they not done this before? Maybe they have. Not in my memory. So, uh, ever wish you could get the hot and tasty satisfaction of home cooked comfort food in a convenient snack or hot pockets? Limited edition chicken pot pie and chili sauce. Chili sauce. <laughs> really. With beef and cheddar. Oh, limited edition chicken pot pie. One type. And chili sauce with beef and cheddar. Another type. Which I haven't seen. So apparently the same package back as the... Even though the front is different to depict the food. And beside the point will get you through to your next meal with no with a good source of protein and no artificial flavors. Prep it. I'll show you how to prep it in a minute. Cooking time on high. For two sandwiches it says three minutes. So here's the deal. My microwave is probably powered by an atomic pile for real. Even though there's no radiation slash atomic energy really involved with nuking food, it's not really nuclear. It's microwave. Microwaves, which are more akin to radio waves than any kind of nuclear radiation. But apparently somewhere in the 80s when these things debuted, we decided it was nuking food and we equate it to nuclear radiation, which is a complete fallacy. Anyway. Apparently my microwave is powered by a real nuclear pile because the cooking times that they suggest on any packaging can be cut significantly. So this is three minutes for two sandwiches. With a normal microwave, what I would suggest doing is taking that three minutes, cutting it to one and a half minutes, and then flipping the product so that the what was on the inside is now on the outside and then doing the other half of the time it's contrary to popular belief by the way and the girl who cooked herself in the tanning bed myth microwaves actually cook the same as any other oven from the outside in not from the inside out little tidbit for you so if we take it from the outside in you should cook the outer edges and then we'll flip this product for the other half of the time but because my microwave is a little bit uh, more powerful than you'd expect I'm gonna go instead of one and a half minutes one and a half minutes after the flip 
I'm going to go probably a minute 10 before and a minute 10 after the flip. Now they got these nice little cooking sleeves with hot pockets. Now, not that I think this makes a significant difference, but if you look, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put them in the cooking sleeves, which I definitely recommend. If you don't cook them in the cooking sleeves, they don't crisp up on the outer edge like they're supposed to. This actually provides, I think it's a reflective surface for the microwaves to bounce off of and heat the internal product better. But I'm going to go one direction with this sleeve and the other direction with the other sleeve. I don't, I don't know if that makes a significant difference versus going this way. But I think what makes a more significant difference is cooking it for half the recommended time and then flipping the product so that the outside is now, or the inside is now on the outside. The, 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 like I said, because of the heating way the microwave heats, that makes more of a difference. So I'm going to cook these up. Like I said, um, it says three minutes total. Instead of going a minute and a half, flipping in a minute and a half, I'm going to go a minute ten flip and then another minute ten based on my microwave's overall power being stronger than most of what I'm used to. So I don't want them overheated. Then when I'm done cooking them, I will be back to talk about the taste. So these bad boys are heated up as per the instructions I mentioned. Let's just dump them out of these sleeves because we're not going to take them on the go so we don't need the uh, the fold and eat to go sleeves. Limited edition which means that Hot Pockets are only going to be offering chicken pot pies for a limited time. Still pretty hot. It's been a few minutes since I heated these up. Kind of leaked out the end. If you look at that that gravy there, that chicken gravy, it's got a slightly unnatural yellowish color to it. Almost looks like the lemon filling in a, uh, a hostess lemon pie. Hopefully it doesn't taste like lemon. Hopefully it tastes like chicken gravy. Mm, guys. Mm. And it's kind of your typical hot pockets flaky crust. It's got a chicken stock, like a chicken bouillon gravy. Nice thick gravy to it. Mm. Mm. The chicken itself. Mm. Not bad. Got that same overall rubbery chicken texture to it that most Hot Pockets do. These carrots. Mm -hmm. Chicken gravy, like I said, it's a nice salty chicken gravy like chicken bouillon. Gone completely right. <clears throat> I was about, so, um, the Hot Pockets chicken pot pie, not bad. Not bad at all. Decent little pick me up, but uh, can't hold a candle to. Mrs. Buds. That's right. Mrs. Buds chicken pot pie. Maybe not available everywhere, but definitely available in my area. <laughs> that box is angled. There's no way I'm going to get it to stand up. Maybe. Hang on. Let me try one more time here. This is Bud. My God, my dear. You make a delicious pot pie. Look, this comes from a refrigerated case. You can heat this up in five minutes. It's got a delicious, flaky crust. Peas, carrots, chicken, not that rubbery processed chicken, but a delicious, smooth, chewable chicken. Mmm, and the gravy. Oh my god. 
the gravy. Mm. I mean, this is decent, but this is heavenly. Yeah. Mrs. Bud's Faro outlasts these Hot Pocket Chicken Pot Pies. And honestly, for something that's quick and convenient, I'm sorry. I love Hot Pockets. I love the meatballs of mozzarella. I love the Philly cheesesteak. I love the taco, beef taco. But, mm. if you want chicken pot pie, do not mess around with the Hot Pockets. For something just as quick, you can get Mrs. Bud's Marie Callender's. Go to hell. I don't think it's Stover's has a chicken pot pie, but I can tell you this, Marie Callender's um, frozen chicken pot pies, same thing. They cannot hold a candle to Mrs. Bud's. Mm, these pot pies are amazing when you're sober. Much less after a few drinks. They are just heavenly. I'd throw the rest of it on the floor, but I'm probably going to eat it anyway because I'm a fat ass. But I'm definitely going to finish Mrs. Bud's first. This is where it's at, folks. You want a good chicken pot pie. It's quick and easy. After several, or in my case, many drinks. Mrs. Bud's. Five to six minutes in the microwave as long as you kept it in your fridge. And you're good to go. Mm. Oh god. That flaky, crispy, yet still doughy on the underside crust. That amazing chicken gravy. The delicious chicken. Those chunks are just amazing. They, they're not rubbery like any other prepped product. Delicious. Dangerously delicious. I got, a, I, I, I got a second one of these in the fridge right now. I might eat these. And then turn on that other pot pie. So good. So good. But... It's just what I have to say on the subject. Hit me up down in the comments in the email thing down below. If you agree with me, I want to hear from you. If you're one of the heathen scum who somehow think these Hot Pockets chicken pot pies are better than Mrs. Bud's, still want to hear from you. I'll be more than happy to call you out on your bullshit. While you're down there, make sure to like them share the video and subscribe to my feed so you get a notification every time a new video is posted <coughs> Ooh, pardon until next time folks drink up and snack on mm. that's right that's right I teased you with hot pockets but snuck up on you with a stealth review of Mrs. Bud's. How do you like me now? Rhetorical question. I don't care. I got a face full of Mrs. Bud's. I'm happy. Regardless. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American...